Ron Reynolds, what are you doing in your warm canvas tent? I am baking chocolate chip cookies. Can we see those cookies again? Sure. You see them? So you're bringing all the comforts of home here to yeah. the Sawmill Park. I get a close up of that. Oh, wow. On the wood stove. Look at that. Looks like these are a little burnt now. Yeah, well, the. <laughs> it, it takes some uh, experience to get this just right. Uh, making the chili and stuff. Um, we're going to set up over here about 4 or 5 o'clock. We're going to have a bonfire, and I've got big pots for chili. Because I brought a bunch of stuff. I was going to make a, like a wild, ri wild rice hot dish. Oh. With cranberries and. Oh, excellent. Some, um, Beef and stuff. My name's Carol Hubbard. And is this your third year here? It's uh, my second year. We missed last year oh, because um, I wasn't feeling well. I had so an ear infection. So this year is my second time up here. So how is it going this uh, Very good. Time yes. Around? Oh, the weather is just beautiful. We came in on Thursday, set up camp, and uh, it snowed yesterday. The sun came out and... <clears throat> We had a really nice evening last night, mm -hmm. invited out, someone cooked for us, and made chicken. I don't know what the name of the dish yeah. was, but... Uh, so why do you like to, to do winter camping? Why do we like it? Uh, well, it's a beautiful place to be out in the forest in the wintertime. It's completely different than you see the other seasons. Uh, it's uh, You're the only ones out there. It's not crowded. Uh, and um, no, bugs. no bugs, yes. No wood ticks. <laughs> That's my thing I don't like. And you obviously you have a wood stove in there. Yes. We have and this is a stove. titanium pipe we're looking right. at. Oh, wow. And some stoves are, are metal and some are titanium. And if you're going to be camping into the woods where you're taking all your gear in on mm -hmm. a toboggan, uh, it's lighter weight. Titanium? Yes. How much does your stove weigh? Wait. I don't know that. Oh. My husband's the one that takes care of all those things. I just pack the clothes and the food, and he takes care of all the rest of the stuff. So, good. yeah, we have a very good time with this. Yeah, and then we get to hike. You get to do your snowshoeing, or some people do skiing. But you can get out in nature, and it's so pretty. It's a completely different And where world. are you from again? We're, uh, we're from Burlington. Burlington. Oh, okay. In Down the south. southeastern part of the state. Oh, right. right. Racine County. Good. So, it's... This is pretty up here. You know, we love the woods. So that, oh, yeah. That's the neat thing about it. Uh, Wisconsin has a lot of pretty places to offer. And uh, knowing Rhonda, uh, this is uh, when she uh, had this set up here, getting to know another place is very special. So Good. we like it. <laughs> and sleep nice and warm. Uh, we Do you use this tent uh, year-round or just for the winter? No, we just use this as a winter tent. Oh. And how many, how many days uh, during the winter do you usually go camping? We try to get out three, four times mm -hmm. for like three, weekend? four days. Yes. Uh -huh. We have different places we like to go. We have another area down by Meadow Valley. Uh, Sand Hill Recreation Area is over that, in that area. And that is another, it's closer to home. Yeah. 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 I see that, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was nice to talk to you again. Nice to talk to you too. So, right. uh, yes, it's very nice here, and all the people are so friendly. So, oh yeah, we're all in the same. Washburn way. County. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you plowed the roads for us, so we got in. Yeah. <laughs> That's always nice to be able to pull right out of your vehicle and set up when you're in a group like this. Sure. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Right. Uh huh. Bye. Well, thank, um, building shelters and sleeping. Can I come into your tent? Yeah. Oh, I don't come in all the way, so. I'm trying to get my fire warm. Do you mind if I take a video? No, not at all. Uh, we're, this'll be on YouTube. So how's it going? What's your, what is your name? Oh Lord. <laughs> my name's Jody. And you're from where? Wasa. Jody, what's your last name? Denver. Nice. So you made this tent. Yep, with the help of my friends Brian and Michael, they helped me construct a, wow. a frame, and then I made a tent to fit the frame. Wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, not very manly, but uh... no, of course not. I'm not very manly. <laughs> but it, it's nice, very pretty. All right, thank you. Oh, there's polka dots. Yeah, look on the stove oh. side. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, you, got, you have to have the polka dots. So now, who's uh, who's uh, dwelling here? This is mine. 
Oh, this is your tent? Yeah, I made this one too. You made this one? Mm -hmm. Wow, isn't that incredible? How long did it take you to make this? Well, we know the next uh, time a couple pan. months just putzing away at it. Yeah. Did you do it by hand or with a sewing machine? With a sewing machine. I know. Oh. Did, was there uh, some kind of design you were using? or Just a standard A-frame design. It's pretty uh, simple. Was it something you got off the internet or something? Or? No, I mean, I, I made the frame myself and, mm -hmm. and just make the tent to match the frame. Your name is? Michael Maresca. And you're from? From uh, Duluth. Duluth? Yeah. Were you here three years ago? Or is this your first time? This is my first time. Oh, our, okay. our other brother was here. Oh, okay. Probably three years ago. Do you do a lot of winter camping? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot. Probably every other weekend in the wintertime. Really? Yeah. What's, you know, a lot of people think that's um, a little... You know. <laughs> Winter's a good time to be inside, uh, no, not I mean, a tent. We get our tents up to over 100 degrees. Really? Yeah, no problem. With these, uh, With these little wood stoves. And you made this stove yourself? Yep. With just uh, the material you got from Menards, the whole mm -hmm. thing? The whole thing's from Menards. Even right. the canvas. It's just drop cloths. Really? Yeah. Drop cloths? Drop cloths. From Menards? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, that's incredible. So you do a lot of uh, camping in uh, northern Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any um, up in the Boundary Waters. This last weekend we up went up to Canada. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Do you see very many other people camping during the winter? Or is it not rather many? Rare? Rarely, you know. Yeah. See some dog sledders and stuff. So. Oh okay. All right. Well, thanks. Hello. <laughs> You're like the Apostle Paul. <laughs> he was a tent banger. Hey, look at this. Wow, nice. <laughs> I don't know. You look a lot hotter. Just Your name is? John Morris. John Morris, and you're from Shell Lake? Yeah, I'm from Shell Lake. And you work with the DNR? Yeah, I work in the waste program with the Department of Natural Resources. So this is the second winter you've been out here uh, winter camping? Yes, it is. And this first year of the tent. Last year you actually slept in the snow, right? Yeah, uh, quite often when I go winter camping, I dig a trench in the snow, line it with a tarp, and sleep in that. Uh, the being that you're below the top of the snow, it helps keep the wind off you, and the snow actually insulates you, so uh, it works out pretty well. So what is the appeal of winter camping? Because a lot of people might think you need your head examined to do this. <laughs> well, for one thing, if you want to get away from the crowds, that's a, a great time to do it. Yeah. Also, you don't have the bugs like you do in the summertime either, uh, mm -hmm. so that's another definite plus. Um, and uh, since there's not as many people out, wildlife is usually moving around a lot more. Last yeah. night we had coyotes uh, yipping around here. Um, sometimes when you go winter camping, you might have wolves and hear wolves howling. Uh, I've gone winter camping and had fox walk right by my head when I'm sleeping in the, in the trenches in the snow. So they just come out and check you out and move on by. So it's just it's real peaceful. And plus looking at the stars, if you have a clear night, uh, you can just see the beautiful stars that you can't see in the cities sometimes. Well, Selma Park is really a nice location itself. I think it's, like, it's one of those uh, county treasures a lot of people don't realize we have. Yeah. Oh, def definitely. Um, I moved up here about 12, 13 years ago, and I've never even checked the park out until a buddy of mine told me about this winter camping event up here. And he's from the cities, but he heard about it, and I'm from Shell Lake, and I didn't know about it even. So we, che we checked it out, and uh, yeah, it's a great spot out here. Uh, Washburn County has a lot of variety uh, in topography, which makes it so wonderful. This is sort of a little pothole lake region. Some of the lakes ha are cold water enough to have trout in them. Uh, others have bass and panfish, maybe northerns. Uh, but Washburn County has a lot to offer in the varieties of activities and types of camping that you can do. These uh, little kettle lakes, they remind me of a little, like a, a mount, uh, alpine lake. Every time I come out here, I think of, you know, it seems like, it seems like a little bit of the Rocky Mountains or something, you know. Oh yeah, it's, it's beautiful with all the tree, trees out here. Uh, and um, it's not, if you, if you like to go uh, snow skiing or uh, snowshoeing and such across the lakes, um, the lakes might not be very big, but usually it's not very far of a portage mm -hmm. across land to get to the next lake. So, uh, especially once a trail is made by somebody else, it's quite easy getting, right. getting around here.